When you look through history, one of the greatest mysteries of all time is that of the mystery of the sea people. Now, they're not actually called the sea people. This is a term coined by modern day scholars because we don't know who they are or where they came from. In fact, the only reason we know they exist is because the ancient Egyptians made reference to them in their scripts and texts. Now, the Sea Peoples came in an apocalyptic type style and began destroying ancient civilizations across the Mediterranean Sea from the Egyptians, the Canaanites, the Hittites, and Minoans. In fact, they've been credited with bringing the downfall of the Bronze Age and putting the world into a dark age. These people were described as being very tall and terrifying. They had these big helmets that had horns and an insignia on top. They had almost this very large and heavy indestructible armor that was copper and gold plated. And they had these shields uh, that could stop any known weapon during that time and these diamond shaped swords that was believed to cut through any type of metal. They also had these advanced warships that not only could travel very fast through the water, but could also travel on land and had wheels and had some sort of firepower that could create a very large explosion and destroy entire towns. And for 200 years, the sea people raged war on these Mediterranean civilizations. And it was only until King Ramses III and the Egyptians began a battle with them called the Battle of the Delta, in which it said that they drove the sea people back to the sea and they were never heard from again. You almost have to speculate who were the sea people? Were they some sort of advanced civilization from another galaxy? Were they perhaps extraterrestrial beings? You know, was this an intergalactic war between humans and extraterrestrials? And these are things that I've often wonder when I look at this story because you have this society, this group of people that comes out of nowhere and just starts obliterating, bringing about the apocalypse. And no one can seem to stop them. And it's only until the Egyptians and Kings Ramses III uh, come along that they are. You almost have to speculate who were the sea people? Were they some sort of advanced civilization from another galaxy? Were they perhaps extraterrestrial beings? You know, was this an intergalactic war between humans and extraterrestrials? And these are things that I've often wonder when I look at this story because you have this society, this group of people that comes out of nowhere and just starts obliterating, bringing about the apocalypse.